All right, guys, we're continuing on with these driver profiles, and we're still on Renault and the second driver, Julian Palmer. All right, Julian Palmer for Renault, um, who was born in January 20th, uh, 1991 in Horsham, Great, Great Britain. Um, if you don't know, he is a son of a former Formula One racer and Jonathan Palmer. Um, so he was inevitably going to start in Formula One eventually. But he went on to win the championship in, in leading Formula One feeder series in GP2, which put him on course to make his race debut with Renault in 2016. Although he got first got behind the wheel of a go-kart around age just three, Palmer didn't begin to race cars competitively for another 10 years, yet he made his first appearance in a race car the following season. This was in the T-Car series for the saloon cars run by his father, um, who after leaving Formula 1 had bought several British racing circuits through his motorsport vision business. Um, his third year in T-Cars also saw a move into the single-seater racing. Um, he won twice in the Formula Palmer Audi Championship and the following year placed third overall in the series, though he added just one more win. Um, in 2009, MSV administered the FIA's new Formula 2 Championship and Palmer was on the grid, but an unforgettable se season yielded just a s single points finish at Imola following a crash strewn race. Uh, race. Uh, Imola is kind of known for a lot of crashes because of its high speeds and low, like nowhere to go, and that's where our Arts and Senna died, um, unfortunately. Um, he returned the following season looking at much more, uh, a much more competitive proposition and led the points table for most of the first half of the year but the pressure from rival Dean Stoneman told as the year went on and Palmer slipped to second. Uh, Palmer had done enough to persuade his backers that he, he was ready for a move up to GP2, but again, he struggled to impress at first. It wasn't until the fourth race of, the, of his second season that he appeared among the points scores, though just six races later, he was on the top step of the podium in Monaco. That proved his sole victory of the season, and he ended the year 12th overall. Very, dis very disappointing. Having driven for Arden and iSport in his first two seasons, for 2013, Palmer switched to Carlin alongside second-year driver Felipe Nazar, who was formerly of Sauber just last year. Um, two wins for Palmer, both in features races, showed he was making progress, though Nazar beat him in the point standings overall. The following year, the pair went up against each other for the championship. Palmer was now driving for DAMS, who had taken Roman Grosjean and David Valsecchi to the title in his first two years in the championships. For much of the year, it was Nazar who presented his biggest threat for the title. In the closing races, rookie Stoffel Van Dorn, who drives for McLaren now, um, outshone both of them, but then Palmer was closing on the title. He began the season strongly with podium finishes in each of the five races, an impressive achievement given GP2 structure of partiality, uh, reverse grids for the second race of the weekend, but while Palmer Palmer kept adding to his championship tally, registering 19 consecutive point finishes. Outright wins eluded him for much of the year. He put that right with back-to-back -back victories at Monza and, at, and then again at Sochi in Russia. The latter secured the title with three races to spare. At the end of the year, Palmer had his first official test in an F1 car courtesy of Force India. For 2015, he joined Lotus as a press driver and drove for them in 13 practice sessions at a reported cost of 250,000 euros each time. Wow. Um, with the team's race driver Grosjean moving on for 2016 to Haas, um, Palmer was then hired to join Pastor Maldonado in the team squad for 2016. That never ended up happening. It was, Paul, pa, uh, it was Julian Palmer and Kevin Madison, who are the two drivers for 2016. I don't know why this guy decided to put Pastor Maldonado but it was Kevin Magnuson and Julian Palmer at Renault in 2016. But yeah, guys, uh, he will be, obviously, Palmer's new teammate is Nico Hulkenberg now. And uh, that, that does it for my driver profile for Renault. Stay tuned for more Formula One updates. Subscribe if you're new. Slap that like button if you like this uh, series, driver profile, driver video. But yeah, guys, until then, take care. Drop to the